what's going on guys? It's Aaron Pirelli from HAP Fishing. Today I want to show you real quick, okay, how to tie a very simple and strong loop knot, okay? Uh, a lot of your baits today, they come with having a small split ring at the bottom, right there, okay? And sometimes when you get some of your imports from Japan, like Mega Bass or some of your other companies, they send it to you without that split ring, which is okay because a lot of times they're meant to actually tie just to the bait itself. But if you want for your own personal preference to make sure that you want, you know, a little bit of a swinging action, a little bit more of a darting action or a glide action, you want to tie to it, either add a split ring, okay, like this, or you can use a decoy egg snap size two, or you tie the loop knot. Now the loop knot I've used, I've used this for years and it's very, very, very strong. It's different from my braided loop knot that you guys have seen. And I actually named this one just a double Davy square, okay? Everybody knows what a double Davy knot is, but they've never really seen it incorporated into a loop and I'm gonna show you how to do it, okay? Let's move these two off to the side. And like I said, this is very easy to use. It locks in place amazingly. Okay, and you guys are gonna have a lot of confidence once you tie it. Okay, look how beat up that lure is. That thing got smacked around over the years. But I'm gonna tie it right here on this Mega Bass, okay? First step you do, I'm gonna use some yellow monofilament real quick, some quick 10 pound monofilament in yellow just so you can see it on the black background of the shirt. All you're gonna do, okay, right away, is just tie yourself a quick overhand. Very quick, very simple. Cinch it down a little. Then you put your line through the bait, okay? And then put it through that hole, as you can see. So you went through the hole, made the bait. Now you got a top and bottom piece, okay? As you can see, don't let it pop out. Let's keep it in there. There's your square knot that's in there. Now, the best part about this loop knot, when you have it, you can set your loop. A lot of guys hate doing loop knots because they don't know how long, how big, how short they want it. When you tie this down just a little bit, just give it a little bit of a tension twist, okay? Now, you can pull on this piece and it gets bigger, or you can pull on the tag end and make it smaller, okay? So it's still sliding in place. So you set your sight the way you want it. So bring it down to the bait, make a little knot then you wanna pull out a little bit how far you wanna go. In this case, I'm gonna go kind of small. So all I'm gonna do is take that bait, cinch it down over here, and I'm gonna make my loop knot only that big, okay? Now this is how you do a double davy, okay? Take your, take your hook, right? Try to, try to watch my fingers when I'm doing this, okay? Take your line, you do an overhand, an underhand, pinch, and then come back through underhand. Then take your line, pull it up a little bit more, and then go one more overhand, okay? Now, there's your loop still down there. At this point, you wanna gonna wet your knot, okay? Let me wet it. Okay, we still got our loop, and all you're doing, okay, is pulling on that tag end, or you can pull on the main line, whichever way you wanna do it to adjust it to get it bigger. Bring it all the way down to the bait, cinch it, pull tight, pull tight here, Pull tight on this one. And that, my friends, is it. That's all you do. Pull on your tag end as much as you want. Pull on your main line as much as you want. And you have a loop that is so strong and won't slide up the line or back down to your bait. And that loop will stay in place the entire time, okay? Now let me clip off that tag end so you can see where the tag end is. Now I definitely encourage you to try this because I'll do it, I'll tie it for you again with a little bit of extra line. Okay, so we just come over here. We're gonna clip that nice and tight to the bait. Get rid of it. There's your loop, nice and tight. Oh, that's getting red. Perfect, didn't slip, didn't go anywhere else. A nice loop. So let's do that one more time so you can see it, okay? Let's clip this off. Let's clip this piece off. Very simple. Go very slowly. Again, try to watch my hands, okay? Take your bait, go through. Actually, I'm sorry, I started off wrong. Okay, make an overhand knot. Keep that overhand loop in your hand, okay? Put the line through your bait. Bring the bait 
right back through that loop. So you have a square knot, okay? I'm trying to hold it here, oh, there we go. So you have your square knot loop, okay? Pull your square knot loop down, cinch it tight to it, bring it all the way down, whoop, I'm sorry. I fell out there. I forgot, if you pull on the tag end, it goes to the knot. If you pull on the main line, it goes away from it. So you pull your tag end, bring it all the way to the, to the knot, okay? Give it a little cinch, pull both ends, okay? Make it nice and tight. Now, bring your loop out a little bit. Then from there, okay, when you have it to the, to the area that you want, like I said, you can adjust it by, by main line or you can adjust it by tag end to make it shorter. From the stop point that you like, you pinch, you take your main line, okay, and overhand and underhand underneath that circle, keep the pinch, one more pinch, and one more overhand, okay? Bring your, bring your loop out, okay? And then cinch it down to where you want that loop, obviously with the little saliva, okay? Pull it tight, pull it tight, bring it up. And what that does is that knot is not gonna go up the line and it's not gonna go back down and shorten your loop. Then you obviously snip it as close as you want. And there, my friends, is an amazing loop knot. Okay, I call it the double Davy square or the square double Davy or whatever else you want to call it. But the good thing about it is you can adjust your loop. That's the most important thing. You can make it as small as you want or you can make it as big as you want by doing just a regular square overhand, sending it through the circle and then doing your double Davy knot. Okay, like I said, that baby is not going anywhere. Uh, nice and tight, doing good. We're looking good, all right? Hope you enjoy this video. Good luck out on the way with the water. Like I said, if you want, use your split rings, okay? Or use your decoy, decoy egg snaps, size two. And if you want just a regular loop knot, that's one of the strongest and quickest loop knots you could possibly tie on the water for jerk baits. And I swear to you, this thing has never broke. Give it a chance when you get home and tie it up, all right? Good luck on the water, enjoy.